Morning, everybody. Um, I hope you're going to enjoy this. I'm going to give you a little bit of a brief history about Aston Martin, what I do in particular, and what we do as a company. Um, so take a spin in James Bond's sleekest rides. I would never describe an Aston Martin as a sleek ride. It's always beautiful, always extremely well proportioned because that's where the beauty comes from. We're a 105 year old company. And in 105 years, we've made 85,000 cars. It takes Toyota two days to make 85,000 cars. We've got about 3,000 employees globally. So we are a small company, relatively small company with some very, very passionate people. But we are the only independent British car company listed on the stock exchange. So we are 105 years old, 85,000 cars, 3,000 employees, and the only independent British car company around. It takes around 200 hours to build an Aston Martin. That's human endeavor. That's someone putting the car together, assembling it by hand. And why? Because our hands and our eyes are incredible. You can feel about 10 microns with your fingertips. Imagine the machinery you would need and how you'd have to calibrate it daily to be able to accurately feel 10 microns. By the way, that's about the thickness of two hairs. And you can not only feel it, but you can see it from about 20 meters. So building by hand is all about precision. It takes Toyota two days to build 85,000 cars, and it took us 105 years because it takes so long to build them. But we're not just one brand, we are two brands, Aston Martin and Lagonda. Earlier on, petrol head. So this side of me is a petrol head, a gear head for the Americans. I love the sound of an incredible V12 naturally aspirated engine. And you're gonna hear one of those later on as well. But I also understand the future and the need for silence. And how, how do you reconcile sound with silence? Great noise that makes the hairs on the back of your neck stand up and silence. Think about any amazing symphony. It has its high points and it has its low points. And when you see something beautiful moving silently, it also has a magical appearance. A glider versus a jet, they have the same emotional feeling. So that 85,000 cars I talked about, we've been making beautiful GT cars for most of the history of the company. DB2s, DB, DB4s, DB5s, famously made James Bond's car. 95% of those cars still exists. So if I close brackets, we are the most sustainable car company in the world. You don't throw an Aston Martin away. You keep it, you cherish it, you put it in a museum, or you use it. Out of those 95%, a high percentage are still being used on a daily basis. We also have the most expensive British cars in the world, both heritage and current. $22.5 million for a DBR1. There were only five. One of them won Le Mans in 1959. And at auction today, you would have to pay 22 and a half million pounds for them, which makes them the most expensive British cars in the world. But we're also a respected brand. We have great partnerships. The young man on the screen won the last Grand Prix. He's an incredible, passionate driver and character. 
the man in the middle, slightly older, he works for the government, and I think you all know him, and he made DB5 famous. And it was quite an amazing series of events that led to that. It was serendipity. The director of the movie couldn't afford the car that he wanted to put in the movie. He couldn't afford the DB5, so he phoned Aston Martin up and said, do you mind if we borrow a car for the movie? Do we mind if you borrow a car for the movie? Let me think about it. And actually, the first phone call, somebody said, uh, I don't think we're interested, so he called back. And think of the value of that second phone call. Think of the value of that fantastic partnership. For the love of beautiful, that's our mantra. And if I talk a little bit about beauty, as you all know, Vitruvian man, golden section, golden proportion, your eye reads proportion, your brain translates that proportion as beauty. Nature has been doing it for billions and billions of years. A nautilus shell, the ridges on a, on a beach after the waves have come in, petals, flowers, everything in beauty, in nature, is created by that golden proportion, that golden section. The love of beautiful is a powerful thing. It has been the fuel of the world's artists, designers, poets, conservationists, and architects. It fuels the global art market and a global fashion market. It has broken hearts and it has built cities. We don't just see beautiful, it makes slaves of every one of our senses. And yet the love of beautiful is not for everyone, but for those who are born to love beautiful, the world is a brighter place. A place where beauty can be found on a canvas, through a lens, under a microscope, and in a car. The love of beautiful is what drives Aston Martin to be uncompromising in crafting cars. Beautiful to look at, beautiful to drive, and beautiful to own. It's a belief that the world is a better place for having more beauty in it. That beautiful is worth creating, celebrating, and preserving. That beautiful should be loved. I mentioned we're a 105 year old startup in mentality because we're going through an incredible change. We call it our second century plan. It's seven cars with a seven year life cycle one car every seven years. And that's the cadence that will bring us into truly where Aston Martin should be with portfolio expansion and longevity. Believe it or not, throughout the history of 105 years, the company has gone bankrupt several times because the investors in were, wanted a trophy. Now we have independence and we are governed as a PLC and this is the second century plan, very, very intensive launch of models. We used to have what I would call Russian dolls, and we ventured out to create seven unique and individual cars, all with beauty at their heart, all with beautiful proportion as the mantra. DB11, it's what you would expect. It is a Savile Row suit. It's the car that Sean Connery or Daniel Craig should be leaning on the fender of in that Scottish Highland. It has a magical grill that everybody knows the shape of, despite what Ford would do. You meant to laugh at that bit, but that's okay. Um, but it's, it's what you would imagine, horizontal grill veins, that iconic shape of the grill, the beautiful proportion. It's elegant, it's serene, it's a beautiful black dress. Savile Row suit, as I mentioned. Vantage, which used to be a Russian doll of the DB9, all new product, completely different. It still fits within that golden rule and that golden proportion, but it's a hunter, it's a predator. It's elemental in its line and its language. It doesn't even have a side strike. It's part of the body language of the car. It's the car we take motor racing.
So can you imagine that movie five, six, seven, eight years ago from Aston Martin? No, that was a movie that we did in collaboration with Rankin. And I think you can see that it puts a different emphasis on the product at Aston Martin. So that's Vantage. DBS Superleggera, it's, sim it's simply absolute. 900 newton meters of torque, 715 horsepower. It's the brute in a suit. Maybe that's the car you could imagine Bond driving in the future. Who knows? Then we come to portfolio expansion. We have an SUV coming out next year, 2019, with a new factory in Wales. And then a mid-engine car that would compete with the 488, with 540s from McLaren. So a true mid-engine car derived from Valkyrie, one of our specials. We do specials incredibly well. They're an important part of our makeup. Most of the specials that we do, we announce, they're sold out instantly. Valkyrie as a, for instance, that's a 150 units of Valkyrie, two and a half million pounds. That's the hypercar we're developing with Red Bull, Advanced Technologies, and Adrian Newey. Simply one of the most amazing cars that will ever be made. That's the sound of the Valkyrie engine, a six and a half liter naturally aspirated engine running around the Nürburgring. And that was just raw data. So we've been racing for 105 years as well, successfully in WEC, previous Le Mans winner uh, in our class. That's the Vantage. The car that you've seen in the hall is part of that collaboration with Red Bull. So we're in, also in F1. But it's not just about cars for Aston Martin and our world of luxury. We have the Volante Vision concept, vertical takeoff um, product in collaboration with Cranfield University and Rolls-Royce Aerospace. We're also developing submersibles, believe it or not, speedboats and apartments in Miami. And we have Lagonda. The whole premise of Lagonda is to take away that naturally aspirated engine it's an all-electric BEV brand, battery electric vehicle. It gives the space back to the occupant in the luxury world. The pursuit of beauty is who we are and what we stand for, how we do things, always centered around that beautiful experience, beautiful to own, drive, and of course, my job to look at. But it's an orchestra of characters. It's about working together. Luxury is about the final 5%. It's about, everything is about compromise. Luxury is about the least amount of compromise you can possibly make. There are values, obsession, proportion, authenticity, and I talked about craftsmanship. Never ask for direction. Never ask time. Living sculptures. We used to see sculpture all the time in the world of art. We don't see it so much now. Now we have living, moving sculptures that we celebrate. Golden proportion is, is so important to us and how we develop and design. Every single line is fixed and measured against that rule. And if you look at that 1.618, that image there was after I'd given this talk to someone in Japan who went and measured one of our cars and each of those lines is a representation of the golden proportion that our cars fit within perfectly. Authenticity is important. A real material, a truthful, beautiful material gives you the feeling that someone took the time and somebody cared. Our badges are made by jewelers in the center of Birmingham. It's a traditional company that's been making enamel badges for 200 years. Everything is created by hand. As I said, hand and eye are so important. 
and simplicity is always the key. You can recognize the silhouette of an Aston Martin instantly. Design clarity, the message of design has to be first and foremost, foremost within Aston Martin. And it's modeled by hand. And finally, without imagination, all of the knowledge that we have is relatively meaningless. Thank you. Thanks very much.